All right, I wanted to quickly show you in Wix, uh, the Wix stores shopping cart, how to deal with your product images and how to display them. Um, you had a question in regards to the fact that um, this new images that you were putting in when they rolled over them, it was zooming in and it was um, kind of cropping the images. Um, I have temporarily fixed that. I wanted to show you um, basically there's settings in Wix stores that you can set up so how it so it displays things differently. So in this case, I have it now displaying to fit to size versus a square. Um, all my original images of your products were square that I inserted into um, uh, the store, but your new ones are actually more vertical and tall. So what was going on is if we were using the, um, the crop, kind of keeping everything square um, version of the settings, it was cropping in on that picture. So I'm going to come into this. Um, so where that setting is, it's under here, under settings. You come down here to layout and then make sure to scroll down. It's down um, a little bit below if you don't see it, but you'll see there's a crop or there's a fit. Um, the crop looks more consistent because it keeps everything in a grid and keeps it square. But you can also achieve that effect by making all of your images square. Um, so when you're cropping in on images, make sure they're a square proportion and that way they will all be consistent in the cart. But in this case, since some of yours are not, um, I can go ahead and use this fit feature. Um, you can also change the image ratio here, uh, down here, so you can decide how to um, display these different ways. I had them square to begin with because I had sized all them square, but if you feel like some of these other ones are better, feel free to change them to that. Um, the other option is, is when you're in the actual managed products area, when you're uploading those pictures, make sure to upload pictures that are square. So um, you'll see this one here. This is kind of a, um, and even in this back end, I will note it crops in on these pictures that this isn't what it actually looks like on the front end, um, but in this editor, this is how you see them. So just be aware of that. It's not actually cropping them on the front end um, unless you have it set to crop on the front end. So um, anyway, this image is a vertical tall image. So if you wanted it to be, if you want them all to be square, maybe don't crop in on this so much and use a square version of this. Um, in this case, I would say you could edit it, but then you're actually, you have no room up here at the top or the bottom to really do that. Um, so you can just leave them this way. And of course you can leave them um, vertical because I've, I've shown the different things, but I just wanted to make you aware that if you want really good consistent um, photos with all the products, make them all square um, and that, or at least make them all vertical or make them all exactly the same proportion. And that will keep, um, any kind of, you know, changing happening from occurring. I'm going to get rid of this one because I'm not sure if that was the one for this particular product, but I wanted to show you that example. Um, so let's close out of this and um, you're welcome to come in here and change that again. Again, where you adjust that setting is up here. You go to layout and then scroll down and you'll see these options for cropping versus fitting. Um, fitting is better if you have multiple sized documents. However, you'll see that it doesn't look quite as consistent um, as the square does. Uh, and that's totally up to you. And what you could do too is crop out backgrounds. They don't have the shading. Um, there's lots of different ways to handle this, but the best way to do things is just try to be consistent. Um, whatever you do, keep them all the same proportion and maybe even the same background if you want them to have white backgrounds or, or shaded, or in the case of the new images you uploaded, there's wooden backgrounds. Um, so anyway, keep them consistent, but use these settings if you want to adjust it. Um, and another thing on these settings too, down the road, if you feel like you have a lot more products and want to show more, you can actually increase the number of um, rows in the grid or the columns in the grid um, as you add more products. So feel free to do that. Um, uh, using this. I like three across for now, but feel free to add more um, down the road and, you know, try to add the amount of products that it uh, goes across the, the, you know, it divides evenly so that you have three across, three across, three across. Um, because as you see, when you adjust the grid, um, if you don't have enough products to 
um, fill those things, then you'll have gaps, which is no big deal. It's just if, if it looks a little nicer. So play around with it till you get it so that it looks the best that it can. Um, and then make sure you hit publish when you're done. Happy Wixen!